we trade for him. I think he's he's just felt that the world's come to an end. He's just left a really powerful team in Philadelphia. Little did he know that he, he'd win an Eastern Conference and the Stanley Cup in Carolina. Um, and then, so I kind of come in and out on that, and I come back. And and for me, um, you know, Roddy was struggling a little bit more. And and he, he was still a good player, but he was minus 19 early in the year, which is hard to do. And 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 – he will argue, and rightfully so, that that he wasn't the driver of that minus 19. But I sit him out in in Pittsburgh as the captain of the team. One of the most difficult things I've ever had to do. And like all proud players, and he would be right in thinking he'd be thinking that I'm nuts, right? This is this is BS. But I need to win that game, right? And part of that is that we don't go into Pittsburgh and win very much at that time. And you know, I mean, they're going to be the Stanley Cup champions. Um, you know, I, so I made it, he said, oh, he was not very happy with me. And I think that's basically the way our relationship is. Um, but it wasn't personal for me. Right. So the next phase is, is I hire him as an assistant coach because he's interested. His career comes to an end. I still think he's still sour at me because he's coaching because I said it came to an end, but he's the question with Roddy is going to be, is, is he going to, let his personality come out. Roddy, a very, very quiet guy, kind of grinding his teeth, right? I never really saw his personality. And then we were in, in Alberta once in Calgary, I believe, and he got an award uh, for some work that he was doing for a charity. He got up and he spoke and he just blew the doors off me. I, I, I didn't know he was that articulate, that bright, that funny, that gracious. And I thought, well, wow, there's a lot more to this guy than I know. And I knew he loved the game. So I thought that, you know, I like bringing – coach players into coach because if they if they can make that transition to hard work and and i know you know roddy's legendary in the champ but does he want to watch the video that you got to watch to be a coach so once that he, he got on the staff i mean there's no doubt this guy's going to be a head coach and he's also going to and he's trip this guy is good right like not, not whether you like him my feelings about him have nothing to do the, the quality of work the, the consistency that his team plays at the energy level that they play at. I watch a lot of the, the website stuff to pick stuff up off him. And he's really, really good. Um, and I never, it's one of those ones, there's players that when you end, when a player ends his career like that, they're never going to like you ever. But that doesn't stop you from doing the right thing. If Roddy Brendamer ever needed some advice at that point, I wanted to let him know. I mean, we work together. We coach together. Right? He's still probably mad at me. He's probably still mad at me because the guy's in such good shape, he could probably still be playing. Um, but this guy's a good coach and I wanted to make sure he knew that if, if there's anything I could do for him and I meant it, like I, 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 I cheer for the guy, um, even though he's probably still angry at me. I don't know. It's, it's, I can tell you that meant a ton to him because, uh, yeah. as close as we are, you know, how close I am with Rod. And I know yeah. when he's, when he tells me that, and he knows how close we are and, yeah. You know, and he made a decision, too, which I think sometimes we've talked about Jimmy Rutherford in this digging in episode. You know, he made a decision to retire with, you know, big time cash left on his contract. I mean, that's that's a pretty impressive thing that I don't know has been spoken right. about enough. Right. Um, well, I, 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 that's that's for Roddy, because I think his his play wasn't where it used to be, as most players and I think, and I'm speaking in a, in a place that I shouldn't, but I think for Roddy, it was going to be, am I going to play at the level that I think I can play at or I'm not going to play? And and everybody says that. All those older great players say it, but it's not true, right? There's not a lot of them that can assess their own game. And that's why they're great, right? Yeah. You have to have that inner belief that I'm one of the greatest in the world to be as great as you can be. But the problem is it changes. You get to a point where you're not one of the greatest in the world, but your contract is, and you still think you are. So you you know you bang out a couple coaches toward the end, and and then you retire. But to his to his uh, credit, he didn't do that. 